Welcome back, friends. So the time has come for us to bid farewell to the Transcend prototype that Grand Design sent us back in October. Uh, and if you don't know, we have a Grand Design Imagine, and we were just really curious to try an entry-level RV on some of our weekend adventures. Yeah, what would it look like? Are you really missing out on that much when you go into an entry-level Transcend? And while it's not perfect, I think you'll be surprised how much we actually enjoyed this rig. I hope you stick around. Corey, get up. We got to do this RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding video. Hey friends, today's video is brought to you by RVmattress.com. So RVmattress.com is a Brooklyn Bedding brand and they're known for top of the line comfort and quality. Plus their mattresses are made right here in the USA and they're shipped conveniently to you for free. So if you follow the channel at all, you know that we mainly use this as a home base. So during the day, our RV doesn't get a lot of use. But at night is when the RV really comes through. You got climate control, you've got your own shower, and most importantly, we spend the most of our time in our RV in our bed. So what better upgrade to make to your unit than going with a great mattress? So RVmattress.com makes mattresses in all different sizes. All of your awkward dimensions and bunks, all rounded corners, all of that fun stuff that you find in these type of RVs. They make heights, the heights of mattresses vary from six inches all the way up to 14 inches. We're on an Aurora right now. And let me tell you, this is a hybrid mattress with over a thousand coil springs inside. There's a whole bunch of fun stuff you can research when you go to rvmattress.com to tell you how these things are built. But this thing is a dream. We've sat, we've slept on several different mattresses now, and this is easily the most comfortable. So based on our experience with other bed in the box mattresses, and if you've watched our videos, you know we've had several, we went to rvmattress.com and picked the Aurora in a medium firmness, which is perfect for us. So you can go to rvmattress.com, select your preferences and find the best bed for you. So if it makes you nervous to buy something you haven't tried, good news, Brooklyn Bedding has 120 night sleep trial. So that's over three months to decide if that bed's right for you. And if not, you get a full refund. Quite frankly, one of my favorite things about these mattresses from Brooklyn Bedding are they are built in Arizona, the good old USA. There's no middleman. You are buying right from the manufacturer. That allows them to use premium materials like this stuff called Titan Flex foam. They have like swirl gels and all this. There's a really interesting how they're built. Uh, you'll have to go to the website, rvmattress.com to check it out. But yes, I love that they're built in the USA. Couple more things I wanted to mention. RVmattress.com delivers all mattresses to you for free. And another thing that's a huge plus is all mattresses come with a 10 year warranty. So you can rest easy during all your adventures. Yeah, that's awesome. So if you're interested in RVmattress.com, Brooklyn Bedding, check out the link below, put in the code wondering at checkout you're going to get 20% off on this particular mattress we're sitting on right now that's almost $300 $281 actually that's pretty awesome so that's really awesome yeah. so check that out it's in the description box below click the link go there and yeah Brooklyn bedding rvmattress.com totally on our recommend list don't you think check it out absolutely don't miss it thanks guys now I'm gonna get back to my nap Okay, I wanna start with the most obvious difference between an Imagine, which is a fiberglass sided rig, and this Transcend, which is an aluminum sided rig. Uh, they call these stick and tins in the market. This stick and tin, this line of stick and tins is much different than others because it's much smoother. It's, it has less of the hills and valleys that a lot of the stick and tins have. And that made it pretty darn easy to clean. I mean, it's, it's, it's basically as easy as my Imagine to clean, which really, really surprised me. That's one of the downfalls of having a stick and tin is everyone says they're harder to clean. Not necessarily with this one. I was surprised how easy it was. Imagine maybe a little bit easier to clean, but I can tell you this one doesn't get as dirty as quickly. Now, right now it's pollen season, it's pretty nasty. But throughout this whole time, I've only washed it maybe only once and uh, and it stayed pretty darn clean. So I've been surprised with how easy it's, it's been to, to clean and how well it stays clean. All right, while we're out here on the exterior, I want to go over one con, especially of this particular unit. Again, this is a prototype. We talked about this a little bit when we introduced you guys to this unit and man, it is, it's a big deal. They've solved it, but this unit, it is a big deal. And it's this storage. Keep in mind in the Imagine, our storage area is probably about this big, all right? It's a huge storage door. 
as morbid as it sounds, you could fit a coffin in there. Right? It's huge, okay? This one, in comparison, is tiny, all right? And that's been an issue for us. Uh, Grand Design has fixed this issue a little bit by adding storage in the rear bedroom slide. We'll talk about a bedroom slide in a minute. We're big fans. But uh, yeah, this prototype does not have that. They missed it on this one. That's why they build prototypes. So that's been a con on the exterior of this unit. All right, a couple other things I really like about this Transcend is aluminum steps. A lot of entry level rigs will have steel steps that are black. These are aluminum, they're lighter weight, but more importantly, they're aluminum colored, which shows up fairly well in the evening. You'll be surprised how well you can see those. Also, at first, this is something that's funny because this is how, why it's important that we spent a significant amount of time with this unit. These basic black wheels. Now, when they first show up, I think they look good with the rig, but I'm like, yeah, it's kind of basic. I don't know. But I've actually learned, or I've actually uh, learned that these clean up easy. They're built in the USA and they're just simple. They're not much to deal with. Uh, you, the other wheels that we have, they look good, but they're a huge pain to clean. These know so much and they're made in the USA. Okay, pros and cons we've noticed as we walk down the unit, you got a cable output here. We don't even have that on our Imagine. Uh, so that's nice. That's, a, that's an upgrade for sure. Outlets, fresh water feel. Your, uh, your water heater and your furnace are on this side. Some folks have mentioned they don't like that their furnace is on this side because it blows hot air. Uh, we didn't, did we find it a problem, Brooke? I don't think it was a problem at all. Um, nice you've also got your spray port here. Now, I would like to see the spray port on one end or the other. Uh, I think that's kind of a con there. That's something I would change if I was Grand Design. And then one last thing about the exterior, at least on this side, is the jacks. I would, that would be one of the first things I would upgrade is the jacks. Just like most manufacturers' jacks, these aren't the best in the world. I would upgrade those to what we have on our Imagine, those 7,500 pound jacks. Those are legit. Okay, just like our Imagine, you got a power tongue jack. Not missing anything there. You've got 20 pound bottles here. I actually like 20 pound bottles. I know that 30 pounders last longer, obviously, but in a pinch, you can find 20 pound bottles. If you ran out and you didn't have any ways to fill up, you could go get some from the gas station. It's always better to fill up. Yes, I know. But, uh, but yeah, that's nice. We have that on our Imagine also. All right, guys, something that we do not have on our Imagine that comes standard in all of these transcends. I don't know if you can see it there. 165 watt solar panel. Solar has been great on this rig. I haven't had to worry about the battery as much. It's got a 12 volt fridge that that solar panel will run for a little while. And that's been a nice luxury that we do not have on the Imagine. Now, just to be clear about that, we have a 2018 Imagine. The 2022s do have solar, but it's interesting that these entry-level rigs now have solar. All right, we're here at the docking station, and everything here in this docking station looks exactly like my Imagine. So, yeah, you're not missing anything here. Here's your solar charge controller up here. Obviously, we don't have that, as I just mentioned. But, yeah, you're not missing anything. Everything's still convenient in one spot. And I really like that about this rig. Okay, you may be asking, why are we under the slides? And I want to show you the slide mechanisms they're using in the Transcend line. And those are rack and pinion through frame slides. That's a big deal. They're a little heavier than the other slide mechanisms some folks use. But a lot of entry level units will use cable type slides. Those cables stretch, they get off track, etc., etc. I love that they use these rack and pinion slides. They're heavy duty and they're the least, they're gonna have less issues out of these than anything else out there. Gotta throw in a con right here two dump valves. I, I'm not a big fan of that. So you, you've got a hookup up here near the galley and you've got one back here for the bathroom and the, uh, the shower. So yeah, I wish it only had one exit, but it has two. All right, so Corey took you through the pros and cons of the outside, so I'm going to take you through the pros and cons of the inside. Uh, we'll start with the bunks. So, of course, like all families, kids um, debate who gets which bunks. So what we did is we flipped a coin, and Beckett ended up getting the top bunk. But Townley actually ended up really liking the bottom bunk because there's a little nook back here that she kind of made her own little private space. She has a little pad back there, a little mattress for her bed, um, and really loved, like, getting away, having that space. But she can hop up. And she has the couch. They can chill on the couch together. It's a huge bunk, too. It's not a really uh, skinny bunk. I mean, it's really wide. So plenty of room for Beckett up there. And it's also a 4-inch pad and not a 2-inch pad. So they didn't skimp on that. They've been very comfortable in the bunks. And another great thing is it's in this open space where we have our living area. So they can lay on the bed, chill on the couch with us, and enjoy a movie at night. 
So I know that I touched on storage in the original video, but now that we've camped in this, I have to tell you, I have not lacked any storage and I love all the counter space. This is more than we have in the Imagine and Grand Design really knocked it out with this floor plan with all the counter space. All right, so I really love that they put a 12 volt fridge in this entry level RV. Now these come standard and I'm gonna show you how much room they have inside. So this fridge is about six to eight inches deeper, I'm guessing, than our gas electric fridge. And of course it's because it has less components. So I'd say ours probably cuts off right here. Um, I'm thinking I, you can definitely lay down a bottle of wine, all your beverages, plenty for planning for your meals, uh, and a huge drawer. So we've really enjoyed this for taking fresh produce with us. And plenty of room. You don't necessarily have to get your half gallon of milk. You can get a full gallon for the weekend if you wanted to. Completing the circle in the living area, we've all been able to sit on this three-seater couch. Plenty of room, you can see. So I can be here, Corey here, and both kids luckily still fit beside us. We do think the interior is pretty good, but I have to point out a con, and that's the ceilings. Uh, they're just lower than we're used to. They're flat. We're used to the curved, a little more open, airy feeling ceiling. So the ceilings are a con for me. So we get comments sometimes that people don't love the walkthrough bathroom. This is our first time camping with the walkthrough bathroom in our rig, and we loved it. It's the width of the rig, and two of us can pass through here, no problem. It's super open. We love having the space. Now, while we love the size of the bathroom, there are some pros and cons to point out in here. First, a pro, you have a porcelain toilet, so that's a nice upgraded kind of feature. Um, but you do have some cost-saving cons, and that's the plastic sink and really entry-level fixtures here in the sink and in the shower. All right, now to wrap things up in the bathroom, I have to tell you, I think we like this bathroom better than our Imagine bathroom. Now, what we realized we love right off the bat was the layout of this bedroom. It has a bedroom slide. And we are huge fans of a slide now. No Imagine a floor plan has a slide and we certainly love it. Now I have to tell you, we did miss having a little bedside um, table, a little ledge to put our cell phones to charge at night. So we ended up putting them in that cubby there in the middle. There's a little plug underneath um, that has USB ports. So we were able to charge them there, but we missed them having right by the side of the bed. And we had plenty of storage. We did not lack any storage in the bedroom. We loved having counter space, the cabinets, the drawers. It was enough for all of us. So we never needed the area up front designated for the kids things. They ended up putting toys in theirs and we stored all the clothes in here. So don't tell anyone over and imagine, but we like this bedroom better than ours. Okay guys, to end this video, we're just gonna have, we haven't really spoke much, we've spoke a little bit about this, but we haven't spoke much about it. Um, we're just gonna have an off the cuff conversation. All right. And my first question for you as a certified glamper, mm -hmm. she's certified in glamping. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, and, I, and I, the reason I'm asking this is I know my answer. Yeah. Do you feel like you went without coming from an Imagine, okay. which is a more luxurious travel trailer. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you went without being in a Trans Am? No, I mean, I didn't feel like I, lacked for anything, missed anything, and I don't feel like anything was really inconvenience. You know, like the, right. the change was not an inconvenience. Right, and we're weekend level. campers. I mean, I, let yeah. me be clear about that. I, that's the one thing. I think that the, if you take anything from this video, as weekend campers, you're gonna go without nothing in a Transcend. No, not at all. A hundred percent sure about that. Now, I'll, I'll be straight with you. I still think we're Imagine people. Certainly. Yeah, yeah, I still think so. Why? I like fiberglass siding. I like aluminum framing. I like the big, big storage here up front. I like slam latches, little tiny nuances all across the rig, and it, but it adds up. I mean, they're, they're a lot more money too. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking for a great weekend unit, I mean, I- You can't go wrong. It's really, really hard to, it. to yeah. talk down these things. They're, they did a really good job with them and they continue to do so. So this one is a 251 BH. Uh, we'll link the Transcend site down below. You can go in and search for floor plans. We'll also link the Imagine site. And um, while we're getting rid of this one, we may or may not have a little surprise up our sleeve. We can't bring that to you quite yet. We've got our fingers crossed. It's pretty much a done deal, but you'll have to stick around. And if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe. So I hope you guys enjoyed today. Did you have fun? I did. Yeah. We've had a lot of fun with this Transcend. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of bittersweet. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I'll just leave it at that. That's that's a good way to put it. Yeah. See you guys.